Welcome back to another Madden 19 video I have for you guys today. Today it's going to be a continuation of that uh, college team series I have going on. Today it's going to be Oklahoma. This team's pretty good, at least on the offensive side. The defense, not so much, but on this side of the ball, we have Baker Mayfield. Of course, the first pick in this draft, so I'm using the Browns again. I know I just used them in the Ohio State one, but if you don't know, um, I just used the team who drafted the first player out of each college this past year, if that makes sense. So like... Baker Mayfield was the first player out of Oklahoma selected in this past draft, and he went to the Browns. So that's kind of how I've been judging which team to use. And then last episode, I did Ohio State, and then Denzel Ward was the first player out of Ohio State in this past draft class, and he also was drafted by the Browns. So it just happened that I have two Browns in a row. It doesn't really matter, honestly. It, the team doesn't affect it that much. I guess the division could kind of affect how well we play, but it's really not that big of a deal. I don't feel like using the same team every time. I could do that, but it, that's just no fun to me. So yeah, we have Baker Mayfield, who is phenomenal, both in real life and in Madden. 82 speed. Okay, I didn't know he actually was that fast. He is tremendous in this game. 95 throw power, 88 short accuracy, 81 deep is still pretty good, 82 medium, 77 awareness is good for a rookie, good break sack. Like, he's classified as a scrambler. I would definitely classify him more as a strong arm, but... It's whatever. I mean, he's a, he's a good scrambler, I guess, if he has 82 speed. We have Joe Mixon here. He was a good running back. He's been pretty good over the past couple of years for the Bengals. This year, he's pretty much like the number one bell cow running back for that team. He's done well while he's been healthy. Also, you know, we have Adrian Peterson, one of the best running backs ever. Honestly, you really can't say enough about him. DeMarco Murray is still in the game. I'm pretty sure he's retired in real life, but I decided to sign him because, of course, he went to Oklahoma apparently seven years ago. Like, he was good for a little while, fall, fell off a little bit, had some success with the Titans near the end of his career, but I'm pretty certain he retired. I just signed him because he was there. He's a third string running back. I'll, I'll make him the fourth just to make sure he doesn't really get any touches, but just showing some respect to DeMarco Murray there. Damian Williams, not a bad running back either. And then you have Samaj P. Ryan. He's still pretty young. Kenny Stills is a good, you know, number one wide receiver to have in this. Sterling Shepard, I just used in my Giants rebuild. He's pretty good. And then D.D. Westbrook is going to be the slot guy. I know Sterling Shepard is probably a better slot wide receiver. But D.D. Westbrook develops like crazy in Madden. I want to see if we can get that kind of cheese going in this. He also has really nice stats, and he's not bad. He's pretty young as well. And I also just used Sterling Shepard, so why not get some variation here? His offensive line is actually pretty nice, aside from the right guard. So Trent Williams, phenomenal left tackle, 94 overall, star development. He's going to be regressing soon, but he's still pretty good. Darrell Williams, of course, is a right tackle. Moved him into left guard just to bolster up the left side of the offensive line a bit more. Orlando Brown is also a tackle. I moved him into center. This team has a lot of good tackles on it. I have no idea who this guy is. I'm sure most of you don't know who this is either. I found him in free agency. Nyla or Nila something. Oh, his face is like a couple shades lighter than his arms, but okay. <laughs> he's not good at all at right guard. Like, he's just a 60 overall just to fill some, just fill the gap there really. And then Lane Johnson, one of the best right tackles in the NFL for sure. A little bit of bias there probably because I am an Eagles fan, but still he's pretty phenomenal. Jermaine Gresham is on this team, but I want Mark Andrews being the number one tight end. He's a rookie, 21 years old, quick development, also fits this scheme. Not bad whatsoever. Very athletic tight end there. On the defensive side then, really, the best player by far is Gerald McCoy. I mean, he's very good. You know, 92 overall, star development, defensive tackle. Tony Jefferson isn't bad. I try to get him kind of frequently in rebuild. He's actually really hard to trade for though. So he's starting at strong safety. Linebacker core is not good. This is a 3-4. All right, so... This is not what I want. I want this to be a 4-3. So let me switch back to... I could go with a 4-6. What does this even do? Is that set up as a 4-3 or a 3-4? If it's set up as a 4-3, I'll keep it. It's set up as a 4-3. Alright, why not? I'll just keep it like this. I, I don't honestly don't know. I don't think it'll make too much of a difference. I do want this team being in a 4-3 though. Because it doesn't really fit either too well. I mean, we have like Charles Tapper, who is a 4-3 defensive end for sure. He's pretty fast, 85 speed, 88 acceleration. He could probably get the job done in a 3-4 because he's kind of big, 271, decently big. He's very fast for being that big, though. Then we also have Genio Grism, or Gino Grism. I, I'm not sure, but he's a 69 overall. He's a bit more of a... I don't really know what he is, to be honest. Okay, so 265, I mean, I feel like he's a 4-3 kind of guy as well. Good acceleration, so I think it makes more sense to be in a 4-3 with this team. No idea who this is. Steven Parker, some random dude I found. We have Aaron Colvin, the best cornerback by far. And then I couldn't find 
enough corners to fill out the roster, I think. I don't think this guy went to Oklahoma. All right, okay, so I think I did the same thing I did with Georgia. In the Georgia one, I couldn't find cornerbacks either, so I just found guys from like Georgia State or Georgia Tech to fill it out. So Zach Sanchez did go to Oklahoma. Him and Aaron Colvin were the only two I could find, but then, not him, hold on. I think it's Lindsey Pimpkins. He went to like Oklahoma State, so I just figured I'd put him in at number two. He's only a 71 overall. He really won't affect the team too much. On special teams, I couldn't find a kicker, so I just have the kicker from the Browns. And then Tressway is the punter. Good looking special teams unit there with the kick returner and the punt returner. And then on the specialist side, this is what it looks like. So Tony Jefferson's going to be playing sub linebacker because he's like one of the best players on the defense. I want to get him as involved as possible. We have this guy whose last name I don't want to try to pronounce. He's a rookie though, so he's going to be rushing off the right end. Gerald McCoy, rush defensive tackle. Charles Tapper, rush left end. Zach Sanchez will be the uh, slot corner. Tony Jefferson is the backup in case he plays at all. D.D. Westbrook, slot wide receiver. Sterling Shepard backing him up. And then AP, hopefully we'll get some, uh, you know, rushes, rush attempts being the power halfback. So the offense is very good. The defense is tragic. Hopefully we can draft some starters though on defense. I hope I don't find a quarterback or like a running back or some position I really don't need. We are now at the mid-season mark of the first season and the team is five and three. Are you serious? This team is five and three. It's honestly just because of the offense. We are in second in the division. We just lost to the Steelers. That would have been a huge game to win. Could have been six and two. The Ravens are four and four and the Bengals are three and five. So we have one experience point for a bunch of different players here on the offensive side. The defense probably doesn't have many at all. Actually has, you know, five, six, I guess. Zach Sanchez has one as well. Not too bad. So I'll bring back all the players who went to Oklahoma and I'll see you at the end of the season. This team got a first round bye. 12 and four? <laughs> what? How does this team... Okay, hold on. This is the day after I... I'm recording this currently, the day after I recorded my Giants rebuild. And how does this team do just as well as that team did the one season? This team has a sub-70 defense. Uh, okay. Madden Sim is really strange. 4-0 in the preseason. Lost against the Steelers twice, actually, in this season, because we lost there, and then we lost at week 8. Won four in a row. Uh, we lost a couple more, too. We lost to the Chiefs. And then one out after that loss to the Chiefs. Okay, so Baker Mayfield had to have had an unreal season. Patrick Mahomes wins MVP. Actually, I don't see that too often, which is quite surprising. But Baker Mayfield, a ton of yards. 29 touchdowns is not bad. 10 picks isn't all that bad either. That's a very good season to have as a rookie. Joe Mixon was pretty good, but Adrian Peterson had 18 rushing touchdowns. Are you kidding me? Okay, Joe Mixon had 7. Nearly 4 yards a carry. Not bad whatsoever. Stowing Shepard was pretty good. 96 catches, 989 yards, 4 touchdowns. Kenny Stills, over 1,000 yards, 12 touchdowns. D.D. Westbrook really didn't do much. Maybe I have to move him up to the number 2, but I mean, Sterling Shepard played well, so I don't know if I... I don't know if I really want to. Mark Andrews played really well as a rookie. Nine touchdowns, 887 yards. All right. Team, the offense was electric. Offensive line was very good. Makes sense. We have a ton of really talented guys there. Defensively, 112 tackles from Tony Jefferson. Leads the defense. That's kind of what I wanted to happen. 14 tackles for loss for Gerald McCoy. 10 from Charles Tapper. Pretty good seasons there. Five and a half sacks from Jordan Phillips. Leads the team. Only had 29 tackles, but five and a half sacks. That's a pretty good ratio there. Two interceptions for Jordan Evans, Tony Jefferson, Zach Sanchez, and Aaron Colvin. One for Lindsey Pimpkins. Demontre Hurst, oh, he actually went to Oklahoma. Sweet, okay. Jermaine Whitehead did not. And Michael Hunter Jr. went to Oklahoma State, so that's close enough. Any defensive touchdowns? I see a safety. That's pretty cool. Who got that? Gerald McCoy did, and then any blocked kicks. We did not get any. So we were first in the NFL on offense. Okay. What about defense? Ninth? You're telling me that defense was ninth. Well, Patrick Mahomes is up to a 95 overall. Good lord. Baker Mayfield is, uh, you know, at number five there. Nobody else from our team. Baker Mayfield comes in third for Offensive Player of the Year. Nobody else. Defensive Player of the Year goes to Miles Jack. Tony Jefferson makes it number six. Hopefully he made a Pro Bowl. Offensive Rookie of the Year goes to Baker Mayfield. Of course it does. Mark Andrews comes in sixth. I feel like he should be higher than that. I feel like he played exceptionally well. Defensive Rookie of the Year goes to Tremaine Edmonds. Anybody from the Browns? Kind of forgot what team I was for a second. I don't see anyone. So let's check out the experience points. You know, Baker Mayfield should have like, I feel like almost 10. He has five. All right, well, not as many as I thought, but we have a lot of experience points here. Four for Joe Mixon's nice. Five for Mark Andrews. That's awesome. He's going to go up very well. He's a star dev. I don't think he had that before. I think it was quick before that. Two for Orlando Brown and, and Daryl Williams. On the defensive side, three for Tony Jefferson. Two for that Parker guy, two for Aaron Colvin and Pimpkins. 
I'm going to try to get rid of Pimpkins if I can. Hopefully, I can draft some guy out of Oklahoma. Zach Sanchez has two as well. All right, so let me spend these. The team is now a 77 overall. That was actually a really nice first season to have. 89 overall offense, 71 overall defense. I'm going to hold off on spending my coach experience, you know, until I draft, because if I get a bunch of players at one specific position, I'll probably want to get that upgrade before any other one. Baker Mayfield, though, up to an 89 overall. His stats are insane. 96 throw power, 95 short accuracy, 91 throw on the run, 85 deep, 88 medium. He is playing with great confidence right now. It's really impacting his overall a lot. And then on the defense, Tony Jefferson, up to an 87. He'll probably be the highest overall player kind of soon because Gerald McCoy will likely regress after this season. So let's see who we actually have to take on. This is the first time we got a first round bye in one of these videos. So that's kind of cool. We have to take on the Ravens, who are 9-7. and seven. They're in 83. We are a 77. So we don't have the overall advantage, but our offense is probably better, to be honest. Let's advance the week. Let's see if our offense can help us win. We won. And we have to take on the Patriots. That was a very close game, though. Let's see, can we beat the Patriots? They're an 86, we are a 77. It's usually the other way around for me in rebuilds. But I'm just going to go, you know, straight to the Super Bowl. Are we in the Super Bowl? I'm going to skip over the Pro Bowl. We lost. It's going to be the Patriots versus the Eagles, so a Super Bowl rematch. Hopefully it ends up the same way. Let's see how close that game was, though. 38-24, to two-possession game. They had a better offense than we did. Tom Brady, nearly perfect. Baker Mayfield wasn't too bad, I guess. James White was okay, Joe Mixon was pretty good, Adrian Peterson got another touchdown. It sucks that we lost, but you know, at least we made it to the playoffs. It's very fitting that the next video I make in this series has an Ohio State player as the first prospect. Alright. It also has an Ohio State quarterback. I wish I had this draft class last time. I have a ton of draft picks for next year, like I traded away a lot of my earlier draft picks in this draft, so I will be starting to select my players now. There's actually quite a bit, but they are all pretty terrible. Honestly, the best one's probably this guy, Cooper McManus. I guess being a kicker runs in the name. Let's go with him. 71 overall, normal dev, took him in the first round. Not really that bad, honestly. He will help because we didn't have a kicker out of Oklahoma previously. We will now be drafting. Let's see who it's going to be. I guess his wide receiver, Darius Brazil. Okay, 69 overall, normal development. He's six foot six with 89 speed. It's actually not too terrible. Continuing the trend of drafting terrible players, let's go with uh, this quarterback, George Flynn. 60 overall, it does have quick development though, look at that potential. Now we will be selecting whoever's next, I don't really know. Rainy Jowers, Dixon Hardy, <laughs> oh my gosh, what a name, <laughs> or Jordan Freeman. <laughs> let's go with, uh, let's go with Rainy. 62 overall, okay, so he wasn't the worst player we've taken so far. Well, let's go with good old Dixon. 64 overall. All right, and then we have one more player left. The last player to be selected by me in this draft will be Jordan Freeman. He's going to be a 64 overall normal development. So the only starter we got was a kicker. I had a ton of draft picks in this draft. I think I traded away four of them before selecting anybody, and I still finished with so many. Pretty good looking left tackle in the third round. Brian Campanaro. Pretty strong. Not going to play, of course, but if anyone cares, you know who the team drafted after I stopped drafting. Let's check out the NFL, though. Who was the highest rated player? Ohio State had a tremendous draft in this one. I gotta say that much. We actually drafted the lowest overall player. Hold on a second. There we go. George Flynn. Does have quick dev, though. Don't sleep on him. Definitely don't sleep on him. No, you, you probably should. Warren Webb was the top player in this draft. 82 overall. 6'6 six six tight end with 85 speed. Very good. Oh, this guy has 98 speed with star dev. Oh my gosh. Okay, he can fly. How tall is he? Six foot. All right, well, imagine he was like 6'4 or something crazy. Holy crap, this dude went in the third round? 81 overall star develop. What? 98 throw power? How does this guy slip into the third round? Oh, that's unbelievable. Wow, okay, this draft class was actually really good. Here is the team heading into the second season. It was kind of annoying because I forgot to re-sign some guys, so I just like had to scavenge through free agency to find them, and I had to trade for a couple dudes. But it's all good. We got the team back together. A couple experience points I could use. I'll do that after I talk over the team quick. So regression is hitting us a little bit. Trent Williams is down to a 91. But I mean, some players are also going up. A Baker Mayfield will probably be higher than a 91 this season. Kenny Stills might be, depends on how well he plays. Mark Andrews is going up in overall too. The defense is progressively getting better as well. 
Uh, we just have this Boone guy playing at cornerback number two, because why not? I mean, there's no one else that went to Oklahoma aside from Aaron Colvin and Zach Sanchez, you know, that or who was in free agency. Like, I couldn't really find anyone else. I'm going to have Jordan Phillips up to the D-tackle number two spot. But we got Boone. He's a rookie. If he randomly goes off, then yeah, it's whatever. Special teams. We actually have a kicker now. So that's pretty cool. We got McManus. And then this is what the specialist side looks like. Pretty much the same as last year. Pretty sure this is almost identical. So hopefully the team can actually play really well again. We just beat the Patriots in week eight. That's pretty interesting. The team is five and two. I don't understand how this team is playing this well. I guess offense is so much more important than defense. Maybe I just have to go with that mantra for the rest of these rebuilds whenever I, you know, rebuild the team again. The Bengals four and three, Steelers four and four, Ravens also four and four. It's on the specialist tab, but that's what that looked like if anyone cared. Baker Mayfield has two experience points leading the offense. Defensively, Justin Evans, right? Is that your name? Jordan Evans, my fault. Justin Evans, isn't he a safety? Is he a safety for the Bengals? I could be very, very mistaken. There's, there's definitely, no, it's Jesse Bates, who's Justin Evans. Safety for the Buccaneers? I don't know. Man, I'm getting names mixed up in my head. Justin Evans is for sure a football player, though, so whatever. Jordan Evans. That was a really random ramble to go on, but it happened, you know, accept it. He has two experience points leading uh, the defense in that number. Actually, Zach Sanchez, how many did you have? I didn't. don't think I checked you. You only have one. All right. I'll, br I'll make sure to bring back all of the players out of Oklahoma this year and try not to forget anyone. Okay, so we just have Sterling Shepard as of now. I've never had that happen. I don't know why I'm doing that. But, I mean, I'll show it. There we go. Let's bring him back. Salary cap is, is off, so I can offer him as much money as possible. So, all right, we got the only player back. I'll see you at the end of the year. We're, hopefully, we're in the playoffs. Did this team get another first round bye? Oh. 12, 3, and 1? Okay, all right. Baker Mayfield, I feel like, is the only reason this team is playing so well. 1 and 3 in the preseason. Won the opening two games, lost to the Steelers, beat the Ravens, lost to the Bengals, beat the Jets, Patriots, tied to the Seahawks, 1 2. We beat the Rams, too, lost to the Chargers by 3. Oh my gosh, look at how many points we're putting up. Every game was by one possession. That was so close to being an undefeated season. All right, well. Baker Mayfield did not win MVP, but he had 4,488 yards, 44 touchdowns, 11 picks. He is unbelievable in simulation. He's very good in real life, too, but these numbers are just absurd. Joe Mixon was very good. Over 1,300 yards, 11 touchdowns. Damian Williams with four touchdowns. Ah, Adrian Peterson, no longer the backup. That's my bad. I should have had him there again. D.D. Westbrook has a great season, but I mean, Mark Andrews, 13 touchdowns. Kenny Stills over 1,000 yards, Sterling Shepard 10 touchdowns. All of these guys were super involved. Joe Mixon even had 7 receiving touchdowns. We have to have the first offense again. Really, really nice sack numbers by the offensive line. Defensively, 104 tackles from Tony Jefferson with 4 interceptions. It's a really good season. 14 tackles for loss for Daryl McCoy, 11 from Charles Tapper. 7.5 sacks for Charles Tapper, not too bad. 6.5 for Gerald McCoy, that's good at D-tackle. 5 picks from this guy who... I don't even know who you are. You're not supposed to be starting, but hey, whatever. Tony Jefferson got four. Zach Boone got three. Zach Sanchez got three. Aaron Colvin got one. Donatello Brown has to be the backup slot corner. That's the only way I can imagine him playing that much. So he actually played really well. I kind of feel bad for that because obviously he didn't go to Oklahoma, but it's it's no big deal. Uh, no safeties, no defensive touchdowns. Four blocked kicks. Tony Jefferson, Chad Thomas, that guy whose name I'm not going to pronounce, and Jordan Freeman. So, I mean, okay, even if that guy didn't have five interceptions, I'm sure this team still would have made the playoffs, but eh, still. Third in the NFL on offense, surprise that's not first, and then near last on defense. Baker Mayfield was second in the MVP running. Joe Mixon was seventh. This team is unbelievable. Baker Mayfield, Joe Mixon, top off the Offensive Player of the Year list. Defensive Player of the Year goes to CJ Mosley, but Tony Jefferson's in there at number four. Of course, Donatello Brown makes that number seven. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Offensive Rookie of the Year, Brian Warren. That's that quarterback, I believe. Nobody from the Browns. Defensive Rookie of the Year, Zach Boone doesn't even, or shouldn't even be starting, is there. Okay, so I kind of apologize for that. I did not expect Donatello Brown to play that well. He's like a 60-something overall. But Baker Mayfield has seven experience points. Mark Andrews has four. At least the players who went to Oklahoma are developing into gods. That's at least nice to see. The defense is down to a 69 overall. All right, who even is? There he is. Donatello, he got one experience point for that. He's a 67, what? Who even are you? I have no idea who that player is. He has to be like the backup. No, he's not. Is he like a, he's a third string free safety. When is he playing? He's the backup 
over there? Is he really getting that many snaps? Okay, okay, I, I don't really understand defenses, I guess. I'll make sure that all the backups also went to Oklahoma so that doesn't happen again, but let me spend these quick. Baker Mayfield is like the best quarterback to get in rebuilds. He's a 96 overall with superstar development. Just look at his stats, like come on, that was not even fair. Joe Mixon's up to a 94, you know, with star development. Pretty tremendous stats from him as well. Wide receiver core is looking really good. This offense is insane. I mean, even the right guard. I mean, he's a 63. He's playing well, though. I don't think he let up many sacks. I at least didn't notice him letting up many sacks. Mark Andrews has superstar dev. Like, what even? I, I don't I don't understand. And then the defense is terrible. But, you know, we have some players playing pretty well. Tony Jefferson up to an 88. Gerald McCoy is a 90. Going down overall a little bit. Let me make sure that, uh, you know, Donatello Brown doesn't play too much anymore. That's so funny that he got five interceptions just kind of out of nowhere. So the backup strong safety. Let's make this a player out of Oklahoma if I can. Let's make it uh, Zach Sanchez. Okay, that works. I wish he would have gotten five picks. Anyway, let's advance the week. Who do we have to take on in the divisional round? I can't believe this team got two first round buys. The Steelers. Okay, well last time we had to take on a divisional rival we won and it was the Ravens. We're still lower overall. I'm sure we are going to be a lower overall than like every team in the playoffs. But let's advance the week. Did we beat the Steelers? They're normally very difficult to beat. And we did not. 35 to 17. Briefly go over the stats of that game. Still though, I can't even complain. Honestly, this team is playing extremely well. 35 to 17, I just mentioned that. They out, you know, performed us in the yardage department a little bit. Big Ben, four touchdowns, one pick. Baker Mayfield. Not a bad game once again, but still, wish he had more touchdowns. Le'Veon Bell had a good game. Joe Mixon wasn't terrible. Only ran the ball 13 times, though. D.D. Westbrook was pretty good. Vince McDonald, I think, had a touchdown as well. All right, so I'll bring back everybody who I signed to a one-year deal. That's what I forgot to do last year. So I'll make sure to do that, and then I'll see you in the draft. I now have the number one and the number two overall picks in this draft. We have some first-rounders. We actually have two first-rounders, and I'm also an idiot. I completely forgot to scout. I kind of sim to the draft you know, by just, you know, forgetting to scout. Sorry, I'm an idiot, but it doesn't really matter, honestly, if I scout these guys, because I'd probably still take them in this order, regardless of what their, you know, top three skills were. So Dalton Gallipo, welcome to the team. Going to be a backup quarterback, 78 overall, normal dev. Nothing special, but I guess a good backup. You know, I can never be too mad, I guess, with that. Obviously, this was an actual rebuild. It would have been really dumb of me to take that guy, since we have, like, a 96 overall quarterback. But Wesley Tolver, this guy is definitely going to start pretty much regardless of his overall. There's no way he's going to be, you know, lower than any of our starters, really. So let's go with him. 80 overall with star. Okay. This guy also skipped the combine, which was awesome. 92 speed, 81 man, 84 zone, 86 press, 90 acceleration, 85 agility. Wow. Okay. That guy's phenomenal. With my next pick, I will be selecting. Who is it? Who's next? This right tackle, Adonis Florence. Okay. Let's go with him. 70 overall, normal dev. He might even start at right guard. Honestly, I think he'll be a higher overall than the guy we've been using these past two seasons. And then with my last selection, I think there's like a center who doesn't look very good just based on his combine. He looks pretty terrible. Let's go with him though. Maybe he'll be like a 70. Kind of doubt it. We're pretty fast, I guess. 64. Yeah, you're not going to play. We drafted some pretty decent players here. I'm really happy with his 80 overall because he's easily going to start. But then here's what the team drafted for me. A couple guys over a 70. Not too bad, to be honest. The entire NFL, though, who was the, you know, first-ranked player? I see an 81 down there. Could be that guy. An 83 overall left tackle with quick dev. 94 strength. That guy's pretty tremendous. Turner Fisher. What is this guy all about? 81 quick dev. Pretty small for a middle linebacker. 5'11", but very good. Stat-wise, there's our guy. That's pretty cool. Darren Bryan or Deron Bryan. Gordon Hurd. I wonder what he heard. Uh, wow, that was really bad. Bennett Patterson. So, you know, pretty decent looking draft here. A lot of players actually had an 80 overall. That's pretty cool. The team is definitely better after that draft. Hopefully this offense can just keep flying high. Wide receiver core is getting better. Joe Mixon's upgrading a lot. Baker Mayfield, of course, is a 94. The offensive line got a bit better because Florence can start at left guard or right guard, my fault. 71 overall. Honestly, not that bad. Mark Andrews is playing super well. And on the defense, we have a really good cornerback now who will hopefully go up to like an 85, 86 after this season. I have to switch this guy out though at right end. I'll make sure to do that before I sim, but I think everything else is good. Like the backup safety, Zach Sanchez there for the free safety and for the strong safety. Like all the backups, 
went to Oklahoma, you know, all the backups who could potentially play. I really doubt this Lou guy or this Walters guy will get any playing time at backup outside linebacker. Maybe like a couple tackles, but that's not going to really affect anything. And then here's the specialist. Zach Sanchez is going to be the slot corner. And then, you know, I think actually, I don't know why I even pointed that out. I'm pretty sure everything's the same. Grissom might be different. I don't think he was the rush right end earlier. Let's give him a shot for this season, but let me make sure I change the right end and then I'll sim to the end of the year. This team did not make the playoffs this year. It's actually kind of surprising. Seven and nine. Not honestly that bad compared to what other teams in this series have done. 12, three and one from the Steelers, 11 and five from the Ravens, and then six and 10 from the Bengals. Even though we didn't make the playoffs this season, this is probably like the best team so far in this series, honestly, like not overall wise, but just like how well they played. Zero and four in the preseason, beat the Texans, lost to the Redskins, beat the Dolphins, lost a whole lot in a row, and then won the last, what, five? How many did we lose in a row? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight games in a row. And then we won the last like four or five, I think. Le'Veon Bell wins MVP. Baker Mayfield, though, another tremendous season. 4,500 yards, 33 touchdowns, 11 interceptions. Joe Mixon was good once again, over 1,000 yards, 11 touchdowns. Kenny Stills, tremendous. 102 grabs, 1,367 yards, 8 touchdowns. Mark Andrews took a step back a little, but still a great season. D.D. Westbrook, almost 1,000 yards, 9 touchdowns. Sterling Shepard had another good year, too. Sack numbers, very, very good from the offensive line. It was so good, it was, it was very, very good, you know? <laughs> <laughs> okay, 120 tackles from Tony Jefferson, tackles for loss, we have 14 for Grissom, 13 from Gerald McCoy, 7 sacks from Charles Tapper, he actually has star development right now, not entirely sure how, interceptions, 3 from Stephen Parker, Aaron Colvin, and Wesley Tolver, the rookie, 1 from Jordan Evans, Tony Jefferson, and Zach Sanchez, there we go, the only players to get picks on this team, you know, are out of Oklahoma, finally did it right, no defensive touchdowns, no safeties, but we have at least one blocked kick, we have 1 from Stephen Parker, and one from that guy. Okay. 11th in the NFL on offense. Still a top tier offense for sure. Probably last on defense though. 31st. So almost. Le'Veon Bell, like we already saw, wins MVP. Really surprised that Baker Mayfield didn't make it in here to be honest. He had a crazy season. But okay. AFC Offensive Player of the Year goes to Le'Veon. I see Baker Mayfield down there at number 7. Defensive Player of the Year goes to Ryan Shazier. Good for him. Nobody from the Browns. Offensive Rookie of the Year, I doubt any Browns will be on this. Defensive Rookie of the Year, our corner comes in second. That would have been cool. We also have this guy who didn't go to Oklahoma, so who cares? Bennett Patterson, a rookie, wins best quarterback. Baker Mayfield comes in seventh, though. Best running back, of course, goes to Le'Veon. Joe Mixon's in there at number five. Best wide receiver goes to Antonio Brown. Kenny Stills at number five. And Dede Westbrook at number ten. Best offensive lineman goes to David DeCastro. Nobody from our team. Best defensive lineman. Nobody from the Browns, I don't think. Best linebacker, Jadavion Clowney, 98 overall. Very good. Best defensive back. The top three guys are all on the Jaguars, and one of them is Ben A. Ben Wickery. No Jalen Ramsey, apparently. Anybody from the Browns? We actually have Aaron Colvin in there. Jalen Ramsey makes it number 10. You're telling me that Ben A. Ben Wickery is a better cornerback than Jalen Ramsey, at least in this year. Okay, Josh Lambeau is the best kicker. Where's McManus? Ah. Brian, or Brandon McManus's cousin, brother, son, I don't know. He didn't make it. It, it. What if it was his son? He would have had him when he was like 10 years old then. Whatever. <laughs> Let's check out the experience points. Not too many, honestly, going around. I mean, the team didn't play too well as a whole. The offense kind of went off. Defense took a step back. The Tolver is going to be like an 85. It doesn't really matter, though, because that is going to be the end of this video. This team was surprisingly amazing. The first two seasons we got two first round buys somehow this team played better than like most of my teams do in rebuilds even though this team is significantly worse whatever thank you guys very much for watching and i will talk to you guys soon bye